Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to customize the index template in Flask Admin. So this video is from one of my courses called the Flask Extensions course. So if you like this video, then the course has more of the same. I cover many extensions in Flask and how to use them in detail. So if you're interested in the course, you can click on the link in the description below to view the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. All right, so let's say we wanted to customize this home screen in our Flask admin interface. Right now it's blank, it just has the navigation bar above. But what if I wanted to add something here? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward and the way that this is done is by creating a template or extending a template. So first thing what I'll do is I'll create a static directory. And inside the static directory, I'm going to have a file. So this file will be important in just a moment. And then I'll create a templates directory. And then inside of templates, I will also need to create an admin directory because I'm going to be modifying the admin templates. So to modify this template, really all I need to do is create a file called index.html in that admin folder in my templates folder. So let me do that now. So templates, admin, and I'll create index.html. So I'll save that, and then let's see what happens. So let me restart my app because I was expecting something a little more exciting to happen. So now that I've added that single file with nothing in it, my home screen completely goes away. And the reason why it does that is because I'm no longer extending the original template. So let me show you what it looks like in the repository. So I have this index.html file here. So this is just the templates from the project itself. And you see that it extends admin slash master.html. And then it really doesn't have anything else in it. It has a block body and it ends block, but it doesn't do anything else. So let me just add that back. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me the nav bar. So this extends admin slash master.html will give me the nav bar. And then this block body will allow me to actually add things into the body. All right. So now I have the navigation bar back. And if I go back to the code and if I take a look at the master.html, and then that tells me that it extends admin base template. So let me find that. And we'll see that there are a bunch of blocks in here. And with all those blocks, I can modify them, I can extend them, or I can remove them depending on how I want everything to look. So just note one thing, I'm looking in the Bootstrap 3 directory here on GitHub if you want to go to the Flask admin GitHub. The reason why I'm looking in Bootstrap 3 is because remember when I created the admin, I used the template mode Bootstrap 3. So you can use Bootstrap 2 or Bootstrap 3, just keep that in mind. And Bootstrap 4 is almost done at the time of making this video, so they'll probably allow you to use Bootstrap 4 in the near future. So now what I want to do is I want to simply modify this file. So remember, I'm extending admin slash master, which gives me that nav bar. And then I have a block here. And this block is going to be something that I'll see. So I'll say, hello. I'll save that. And then I'll run this again. And I see, hello. So all I have to do is modify this index.html file once I've extended master.html. and anything that I add here will show up. So I'm going to add some code that I already have written and it's pretty simple. It doesn't actually do much, but it's just a visual display. So I'm going to add that in there and then I will refresh. So now that I added that, it has given me this notification looking thing. This doesn't actually work. It's just HTML, but it's not quite styled like I want. So that CSS file that I added into the static directory earlier, I want to use that. So what I need to do is I need to extend the head CSS for this page. So that is one of the mini blocks that can be extended. So let's take a look at the documentation here. And if you look here, you see all the blocks that are available to be extended. So head meta 
title, head CSS, head, page body, brand, main menu, menu leaks, access control, messages, body, and tail. So I want to extend the head CSS. So what I'll do is block head underscore CSS and then in block. And inside of this, I'm going to add a CSS link. So link href is going to be, let's see, URL for static. The file name is going to be sb-admin-2.css. And then I can close that out. And then it's going to be a style sheet. All right, so that is the link to the CSS file that I have in my static directory. So if I refresh this, it messes up. So the reason why it messes up is because there are other CSS files that Flask admin uses. And by simply adding in that link, I actually overwrote all the things that were existing in the head CSS. So if you're familiar with Jinja, then you should know that the only thing you need to do to get those existing CSS links in the original head CSS is by using the super function. So if I call super here, that will give me all the existing information in head CSS, and then I can append on anything else I want after that. So by adding the super, let's refresh the page. And now it looks correct. I see the, the number of comments looks right, and the link and the style for everything else is correct. So that's all you have to do to modify the index template, the home template. Modifying other templates is pretty much the same process, and I'll show you that next.